In this video, I will show you 10 amazing wall art decor ideas using cardboard boxes and aluminum foil. My name is Nora G and welcome to my nook. But first, <laughs> okay, okay, so I made a promise and I had to fulfill it. Thank you all so much. I'm not gonna waste your time, let's get right into it. Okay, so welcome back again to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. And please do subscribe and join my new federal family. For my returning subscribers, you remain the real MVPs. Okay, now let's get into the business. I will be showing you how to make wall decor with cardboard boxes. All I will be using for this project is of course cardboard boxes, aluminum foil, some coffee stairs, some spray, spray paint, glue gun, plastic crystals from the Dollar Tree and a whole lot of creative juice. You will also need some tape, scissors and exacto knife to cut out your cardboard boxes like I am currently doing in this video. I am cutting out the cardboard boxes, keeping in mind the kind of design or art I want to create with them. This video is just to give you an idea of how you can create beautiful wall art using cardboard boxes and aluminum foil. You do not have to create exactly the same designs that I'm going to create in this video. You just take it, make yours and be creative. Have fun with it guys depending on how thick your cardboard boxes are you may want to double up on them just so it is thicker i am technically creating canvases using cardboard boxes i will be spray painting over these cardboard boxes so i am using painter's tape to actually create some kind of illusion of a, of a frame uh, just so when I spray paint over it, there's that distinction on the edges. So the wall decor art I will be creating today will actually be around four solid colors. That is black, white, gold and silver. These wall art decor can be placed anywhere in your home. It can be in your bedroom, living room, bathroom, kitchen, you name it. It all boils down to how you prep them and how you want them to look. I will be giving out these wall art decor to friends and family and the rest of them I will be donating them to my local thrift store. Now that I am done prepping my cardboard boxes canvases, let's get started with our wall art decor. For wall art DIY number one, this would be a black, white, and gold wall art. It is a set of four that you can choose to use as one whole set or you could choose to do them in pairs. So there will be two in black and two in white. Just watch as I do this. I am using the glue gun to create some kind of a pattern on the cardboard boxes prior to painting them. Keep watching.
so this already looks pretty nice by itself, but in typical Nora fashion, we have to add some details. I will be using the spray painted gemstones from my fall glam vase DIY video. You can click on the link above to watch that video after this. This is the short clip on how I basically spray painted these gemstones that I used in that video and which I will be using in this video as well for this particular art. And if you already watched my Fall Glam Vase DIY video, you already know this particular wall art decor is to complement Glam Vase number 2, right here. Make sure to watch that video to see how I made that vase as well. And that is it for wall art decor number one. Just look at that. I love the details on this. Wall art DIY number two is actually similar to the very first one, except this is going to be black and silver wall art decor. This wall art decor will be just one large piece, not a set of four like the previous one. This is the rectangular shaped canvas, or cardboard box canvas, and you can choose to actually hang this on the wall vertically or horizontally. Just like with the previous, I will be making some kind of a pattern on this as well using my glue gun. Let your creative juices flow, there is no rule book for this. Now let's carry on. I normally would be spray painting this, however, I ran out of some black spray paint, so I went ahead to use some acrylic black paint that I've had in my house for a while now. I have a bunch of acrylic paint, 
uh, from painting, which I have only painted five times since I got this. So we'll be making use of that today. And by the way, these are way cheaper than spray paint. My only issue with this is that it takes longer to actually apply compared to spray paint where you're basically just spraying in one minute and you're done. However, this worked just fine. So let's keep going. DIY number three, I chose to name it Black and Gold is Queen Wall Art. Simply because, of course, Black and Gold is a classic, hands down. I don't know about you, but I really, really do love that combo. So let's get to this. For this wall art decor, I will be drawing a black queen with a fro, of course. <laughs> and I will later on use some Ankara fabric to actually do a really nice bow for her hair. Just watch as I do this.
finally, wall art number four will be a four piece design as well. And I will be using black, silver, and some coffee stairs to make this. The coffee stairs I will be using for this particular design, I actually got them from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Now watch as I complete this project.
some setup for our 10 wall art decor ideas using cardboard boxes and aluminum foil. Please do let me know in the comments section which of these wall art decor was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you will be the first to know each time I upload new videos. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do smash that like button and show me some love. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching.